Following the right steps from the outset can make or break your cloud adoption journey. Think about adopting cloud like creating a new apartment building. Many of the same principles apply, and this analogy explains the importance of getting it right. A strong foundation helps your apartment building last, and the same is true of cloud. It's easier to get the setup right at the start than to fix it later, so a good foundation is key. The first step is creating a Google Cloud account that's owned by your organization. Think of this like claiming ownership of the land you want to build on. If you tried to build without ownership, you wouldn't get very far. You need the right credentials. To start building, you need a team, but they can't build without access to the construction site. The next step is using Cloud Identity to add your team to your GCP account. Next comes assigning a GCP organization admin. They can grant permissions, create structures, and take care of other necessary administrative tasks, much like a general contractor on a construction site. You'll need to pay for materials for your building. Once your developers start using cloud, they are using Google's resources, so you need to set up a billing account to manage and pay for what you use. These first steps help create a strong foundation. Next, it's time to make cloud work for you. Next comes building a well-organized structure. Without it, cloud can be difficult to manage and won't scale easily. Resource Manager lets you create folders and organize projects within them. Think of folders as floors in an apartment building and projects as individual apartments. In an apartment, you use and pay for utilities. This is similar to GCP resources you use in a project, like virtual machines and databases. The next step is ensuring people can only access what they need. This is like the difference between a tenant and a maintenance person. A tenant can access an apartment, but a maintenance person should only access what they need to work on. Identity and Access Management helps you assign permissions for users and establish selective access. The next step offers tech support, professional services and training, and partner services. These are similar to insurance and building consultants. They protect your investment and ensure everything works correctly. In a cloud environment, computers need a well-configured network, and the next step is setting this up. This is like the plumbing. A good network of pipes keeps the apartment running smoothly and also connects to a wider network. It's the same with cloud. Google Virtual Private Network provides fast and secure connectivity both regionally and globally. Once your building is constructed, you want it to run efficiently. This means monitoring water and electricity use and installing smoke detectors and cameras. This step sets up Google Stackdriver to monitor and manage your infrastructure. The final step is adding additional measures to help ensure everything is safe. Google offers security products like Cloud Security Command Center and organization policies. Think of these like installing locks and fob keys or paying a security company to monitor your building, keeping you safe both inside and out. Following this process will help you succeed on your cloud adoption journey so you can get the most out of your investment.